Hey, what's up guys? It's been a minute since my last video, but uh, I think that's just probably going to be how it is with uh, with me on this channel. It's going to be kind of whenever I frock an idea in my head and I get uh, get passionate about something, I'll, I'll get a video out. Most recently, I've been thinking a lot about how guilds manage splits on TLP servers, and I know there's already a tool out there for this, but uh, I wanted to kind of make my own and put my own spin on it. So today I wanted to show you what I've created and how to use it if you want to utilize it for your guild. So right now this website is live at uh, modestsplits.com and you can use this to generate raid splits. So I'll show you how it works and at the end I'll show you how to set it up. The two caveats are that so for any split generator really you're going to need some form of raid sign up so that you know who is um, going to be showing up for your raid so you can generate the splits. The way that I'm going to do this with this tool is via a discord raid sign up tool called raid helper so i'll show you that and the other caveat for this is that you're going to need excel on your computer to export splits if you want to do that so this isn't um 100 polished but it's functional and um, i think it's pretty cool so i'll go ahead and walk you through it now so the way that i think about splits is that you're always going to have a, a bottleneck to create your next split so let's say that for me tonight uh, i know the raid target that i'm doing i'm going to need at least uh, two warriors and let's say that i need uh, at least four clerics okay so I'll show you kind of some of the Raid Helper stuff later, but for now I'm just going to show you what the export file from Raid Helper looks like. So this is who has signed up for my raid uh, thus far. Uh, so you can see that I have four warriors signed up and eight clerics, okay? So with that in mind and what I've already set as my minimums, it looks like I'll be able to construct two splits based on my restrictions here because I'm saying I only need two warriors and four clerics, but I have double of both. So we can go ahead and import that file and then construct splits. And it did exactly what we expected here. It created two splits. Each has two warriors in it and each has four clerics in it. What my tool is going to do is it's going to, one, it's going to try to keep the splits equal in terms of numbers. So you see 18 and 19. Um, it's going to try to balance the classes uh, within each class. So for example, if I have uh, four bards in a raid, it's going to try to put two and one into, it's going to put two and one and two in the other. It will never like put three bards in one split and only one bard in the other. The exception is with boxes, because the other thing that this tool will do is it will always keep mains and boxes together. So that's when you may have to come back around and slightly adjust splits due to boxes. The other thing that this isn't going to account for is like overall like healing and DPS and utility balance. So that's going to be on you as a raid leader. So for example, on this raid, I might see that I only have one shaman over here and I have no druids, but in this raid, I have two shamans and one druid. So in terms of like class balance, like on a class by class balance uh, basis, the tool did as it was expected. It put, it didn't put like a ton more shamans in this raid versus this raid, did the best it could based on classes. But I know that, hey, this raid looks a little light on healing. So I can just quickly throw this druid thorny over into split two. So now this looks a little bit more balanced in terms of healing. And let's say I think the split one is a little light on DPS. I'll just go ahead and throw like a necro over here. So once you've kind of finalized your splits, now you can export and this is where Excel comes in. So once you've exported your splits, you can open that up and it's not going to look pretty, but uh, this is, this is what it's going to look like. So what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to construct these splits and then I'm just going to copy this and then paste it into some sort of Discord channel so that people know what splits there's gonna be for each night. Maybe I'll rename the split names to be like the raid leader for that night or I'll just 
let people know uh, on the back end. Either way, that way people know where they're going as soon as raid starts. Okay, so let's look at uh, let's look at another example and to just kind of see what the what the tool can do. So, like I said, we we can make any sort of minimums we want here. Like we could say, oh, like the split has to have a rogue in it. Okay, uh, let's say we don't. Maybe we don't care about. Uh, we we just need one warrior and one cleric. That's cool. But we we just have to have a rogue, or this raid is just is just not gonna work. Um, well, let's take a look again at our box roster here that we have. You'll notice that we only have one rogue in the raid. So this probably isn't going to be the greatest uh, split minimum, but let's uh, let's check it out. So we'll do that. And as we expected, it only created one split for us because we only have one rogue. So I told it that we have to have a rogue in the raid. Otherwise, the split ain't going to work. So it only made one for us. Okay, let's go back and do a different one. Let's do, let's say we want uh, at least a one bard in every group. And you'll remember that we had uh, three bards in our raid. One of them is a box. And then just the one cleric and one, one warrior per raid is, um, is fine for a minimum. So we'll load the sucker back up. And like we expected, we have one bard in each split and we have, let's see, Oak Fist and his box are still together. And you can see that the tool balanced out the different classes in each raid. So like before, uh, it doesn't perfectly balance, like for instance, total healing. So we are short a healer, it looks like to me in split one. So I'm gonna drag the Druid over here and let's see. We could throw the, maybe we throw the wizard over here to split two. So something like that. The raids are about equal in terms of how many players are in each one. Uh, the healing looks good. Tanking looks good. Uh, DPS looks okay. So we could go ahead and export that if we want. And then our tool spits out a simple little Excel file that we could paste into Discord. Okay, now that you see how the tool works, now I'll show you how to set it up. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is get the raid helper bot in your Discord server. So you wanna to go to your server settings and go to the app directory and get raid helper. It's this guy right here. So install this guy on your server. Next thing you're gonna to want to do is come over to the raid helper guides on their website and once you're here you'll see that you can customize the raid event to have custom classes and custom specs so for us we can customize this to be everquest classes and since everquest doesn't have specs we can use this to be a main or a box designation. You can see here that the input that you're going to be wanting to use in discord is these emojis for your classes. So what you're gonna wanna do is, in your Discord server, you are going to want to add some emojis. Okay, so here you can see that I've added all of the EQ classes, and you can use any icon you want, but the important thing is that you name your emojis the name of the class. This does need to match what we have in the tool, so you can check the spelling here for all of the classes. It needs to be the same. The only exception is Shadow Knight. Shadow Knight uses a space when it's being displayed, but in the background, it's actually gonna match on a single word like this, Shadow Knight, one word. So that's the only exception there. So you do need to use these names, and then you'll need to add a main or an, and a box emoji. Okay, once you have all of your emojis, now you can go back to the raid helper, and then I'll go ahead and just show you uh, kind of how to do this. So you will use your raid helper bot to do a custom class. And you'll see that the raid helper comes with a bunch of custom templates. I built mine on 17. Um, you can do anything you want. So let's just say on the custom template 17, this is gonna be basically like our EQ template. Then you just wanna add all of your classes that you just added. So bard, cleric, berserker, etc. So go through that, add all your emojis in there. So that'll be your custom classes. Okay, so then the same thing you're gonna do, instead of uh, custom classes, we're gonna do custom specs. 
Okay. So same thing. We are using 17, template 17 in our case. You can use anything you want. It just needs to be the same. And here now you'll see when on this class section, it's gonna pop up all those classes that you just added. You have to go through each one of these individually and say bard, and then a bard can either be a main or a box, okay? And just go through and do that for every single class, okay? So once you've done that, I'll just show you quickly that you can create. I'm, I'm not gonna show you how to create like a real structured event, but there's something that Raid Helper has that's just like a quick create. So I'll show you a, uh, a little quick create. Quick create, we're gonna use template 17. And then you can see here that it adds a little event. So once the event's created, you can select your class and say, I'm, I am a bard. And it said, okay, that's my main. And then say, okay, I'm also bringing a druid and that's a box. So now I've signed up that I'm bringing my main and my box. And that's important when you're building splits because you need to know all of the classes that you have coming to the raid. Once everyone has signed up for this event, you can export this event. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna copy the message ID of the event. And then when everyone has signed up, you can use the export command, export to CSV, use the ID of the event, and then it's gonna give me a CSV file. And this CSV file is what we're gonna end up importing into the split tool. So we can go ahead and download this. Let's put it here, pull up that file that we just downloaded and drag it into the app. And the way that the split generator is gonna work it's going to, even if you don't have the required classes here, like in this case, four clerics and two warriors, it's minimally going to spit out one split for you. It's not just going to say, oh, you don't have the clerics and the warriors where you can't form a raid, have fun. Uh, so we know that in this split, we only have like a bard and a druid. So it's going to spit out um, a single, a single uh, split for us. Okay, and here it is the druid and the bard like we expected and uh, the druid is a box so you can export that if you wanted okay so yeah that's uh that's pretty much all you have to do to get this thing going you need to get the raid helper add-on for discord you need to set up the everquest classes in discord with custom emojis and then optionally you can add the specs which will be the box and the main the tool will work without um, having box and main designations, you can just have just mains. So at a base level, the tool is functional and can do all the all the basic things. Um, it still does require you to tweak it a little bit at the end after it spits out the splits, but I still think this will save quite a bit of time versus trying to manually construct splits and like spreadsheets and stuff every night um, on the fly, especially in larger guilds where you might have a greater amount of fluctuation in who's showing up every night. If I was gonna continue expanding on this tool, I think the first thing that I would try to do would be to balance the splits a little bit better so that it does take into account overall healing, overall tanks, um, maybe utility like slow or something. And then and then the, I think the most difficult one would probably be a DPS balance. But I think getting to that point is uh, almost like exponentially more effort than where we are now, uh, which is kind of like 80 to 90% of the way there. So I'm pretty happy with this as it is. We'll see if I continue to have the drive to work on it and make it better. Definitely interested to hear what other people think. Two other things that could be cool would be to remove the reliance on Excel somehow so that when you export splits, it either goes to maybe like a Google Drive or it would maybe generate like a unique URL that you could link in your Discord and bring up like a web a web page that your guild could look at to see what splits are happening that night. Uh, and then the other thing that I was thinking about was maybe trying to just bypass the raid helper altogether and build my own little signup sheet in a web environment. That would be a little bit more work because at that point we're gonna have to start talking about having maybe like user accounts and different guilds would need to access the website differently and whatnot. So yeah, we'll see. This is what the tool is for now. So I, I'm planning on using it in my guild to speed up split creation. I wanna make sure that splits are created before the raid starts so we don't waste time on our raid nights creating splits. I will probably make a second video that will 
probably end up being a link on this website to have only the instructions for how to get this how, how to get this set up and maybe a bit more detailed of a walkthrough as well in that video let me know what you guys think about the tool i'm excited to get using it there there may be still some bugs this isn't 100 percent battle tested yet i've just been using dummy data so far so i'm sure some things will crop up once uh, we start plugging some real raid data in here but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video reminder that if you are looking for a pst guild on the teak server our guild name is modest and we're rating at 7 p.m i'll leave a link to our discord in the description below in case you're interested but that's all i got for now so i'll see you guys on the next video